There are no mistakes. There really aren't any, because you have a supreme destiny. When you're in your little mind, in your little personality mind, where you're not centered, where you really don't know who you are, that you come from something greater and bigger, and that we really all are the same. When you don't know that, you get all flustered. You get stressed all the time, wanting something to be what it isn't. There is a supreme moment of destiny calling on your life. Your job is to feel that, to hear that, to know that. And sometimes when you're not listening, you get taken off track. You get in the wrong marriage, the wrong relationship, you take the wrong job. Yeah, but it's all leading to the same path. There are no wrong paths. There are none. There's no such thing as failure, really, because failure is just that thing trying to move you in another direction. So you get as much from your losses as you do from your victories, because the losses are there to wake you up. When you understand that, you don't allow yourself to be completely thrown by a grade or by a circumstance, because your life is bigger than any one experience. What would you say to your younger self? Every person says, in one form or another, I would have said, relax, relax. It's gonna be okay. It really is gonna be okay. Because even if you're on a detour right now, and, and that's how you know, when you're not at ease with yourself. That is the cue that you need to be moving in another direction. Don't let yourself get all thrown off, continue to be thrown off course. When you're feeling off course, that's the key. How do I turn around? So when everybody was talking about, when I started this network, if I had only known, good Lord, how difficult it would be. Um, the way through the challenge is to get still and ask yourself, what is the next right move? Not think about, oh, I got all of this to what is the next right move? And then from that space, make the next right move and the next right move. And not to be overwhelmed by it because you know your life is bigger than that one moment. You know you're not defined by what somebody says is a failure for you because failure is just there to point you in a different direction. You are the modern day uh, warrior woman in that you have actually changed the way so many women perceive themselves and their lives. You have done that through your work, through your art, through yourself. I will cry 90 seconds into this interview, <laughs> no, so don't worry about that. It is that. true, it is true. And I know you didn't set out to do that, because yeah. I know how it works. I know that just being yourself was enough to bring the warrior to the world. Damn it, Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, right back at you. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't set out to do that at first. I just wanted to perform and make people laugh. And then I, I realized people are paying attention. You, and you have this, not responsibility, but this opportunity to be a voice for women. Yeah. And I have done my best to rise to that, and I'm trying to catch up and learn in real time so that I can... What the responsibility is. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Right. And people always talk about the responsibility and ask me to, you know, I've often been asked about, does it feel weighted? Is it heavy? No, because when you're just being yourself, it just is, right? Yeah, there's no fear. Right. Uh, because you really, really trust your intentions and, and your potential, which is sort of with this movie that's what I that's what I want and I think that's what all, all we both want for women is for them to get out of their own way and and have the tools to live up to their full potential not let anything hold them back like how they feel they look or some flaw